What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian. And today we're gonna be talking about a game that people have been asking me to play for a while, uh, at least in here in Brazil, and it's Free Fire. So, I actually played the game one day. Um, right now I'm using Bluestack Simulator, and that's pretty much so I can give you guys a better idea about the game. So, <laughs> let's see how that goes. And now, first of all, I'm not saying I'm a freaking ace in this game uh, in the most because I am using a computer, even if I'm an later. So that does give me a little bit more of a chance to win matches. And it has to do mostly with, you know, basically, I'm playing a 55 inch screen. So uh, kind of different than if I was playing mobile. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, there's a lot of things I still don't know about this game, like, uh, I know I can do drops and stuff like this, but I, I just play with whatever I can find. Alright, now there's another thing, so, way back in the day, I played PUBG, but really for a very, very small time, kind of like a day or two. And I have to kind of tell you, this game is just a clone of PUBG. Now for some reason the big difference I found between here and PUBG is when I played PUBG the first time uh, it was kind of impossible to find the other players for the most part and have people dropping here but let's see. Alright I got the weapon I enjoy getting. What is the M14? Oh man! Yeah, I I know it won't sound realistic, but I usually don't die on the first. <laughs> That's all right. Now, because this is a mobile game, so it kind of helps you aim a little bit. What added that I'm looking at a big screen, not a cell phone, it kind of becomes cheating. But at the same time, every now and then, it will actually move my aim down, so I'm not doing headshots all the time. Unless I have the M14, what for the most part, yes, it does gives me headshots most of the time. Alright, that's good. I don't have half the world after me right now. So it's great to have a grenade. I have no weapon right now. Um, the other day when I was playing, I kind of uh, paid more attention where I would have weapons for sure. Like right here. I got more grenades. That's great. Great, still no weapon, so. And just like PUBG, it pretty much like the zone starts getting smaller, the safety zone. And if you don't leave the area, you kind of start taking damage. One thing, because it is a mobile game, it's not exactly a computer game. Every now and then, you end up having issues, like, for example, um, I may have to sit on top of the uh, of some of the weapons to actually pick them up, because the computer processor, it's a lot faster than, than a mobile processor, so... <laughs> And you run the guy out. I love it. Alright, so one thing I usually do is just go to the whatever place red. That means they're having strikes, that means there are players in there. Now the problem I have is I don't have any long range weapon, so... Oh 
Oh, man. Again. Now, to be honest, I have no idea how this game exists, being so much like PUBG. Um, I don't know how they never got sued, or if they did how they won. And it's actually a game that they have championships, so... Now that's the weapon I like. And that was actually got a couple of times. Um, probably the best weapon. Or one of ten. Or if I was not a bad weapon. It's actually a... Uh, one of the weapons used in Weber's in the military. It's a weapon that was actually created on um, Israel, I think. Yeah, it's an Israeli weapon. And to be honest, it does make harder for other players, players to actually uh, hide from me. Because I can see them from way farther away. Now, the first few levels, if you guys play this type of games, it's pretty much like marking everybody around. But I guess when you start going higher level, um, I guess it matches you with better players. So, not a bad thing. To be honest, uh, a lot of times I don't think I'm the only one that is playing the emulator and computer. Mushrooms, just like for Mario, yeah, they make you strong. Man, I'm sucking today. Yeah, but this guy is... I, I don't know what he has, I just know that, yeah, he has some uh, extra stuff with him. So a lot of times, um, when I realize that I got shot, kind of die too quick. Um, not as an excuse, but you realize uh, people have like wings or uh, they're not the basic account characters. They're a little bit easier to kill. Um, all right. Third time to charm. Where's that fourth? Oh man! Yeah. Alright, so let me try something else. So in here you have other options. You have the rank games. And I can actually go somewhere else besides Bermuda. Alright, let me go to somewhere else to see if I'm, I have better luck. Alright. Well, one of those times when I tried to join this other map, it kind of like, <laughs> yeah, I didn't. If that got to up to like two minutes, it, for some reason, someone's not playing. Again, I'm playing in Brazil right now, so a lot of people are at home. Um, schools are kind of act, uh, being weird with their hours um, because they're doing online, but Brazilian hours are completely different than other countries. I may actually eventually change and uh, use my VPN to go to the US servers, see how different people in different parts of the world are playing the game. There you go. Haha. <laughs> Finally. Oh man, like I told you, 90% of the time, it's older players or people with paid accounts at level 53, so it's all right. Yeah, the last time I played it, uh, it was at night, and it seems like a lot of the players were kind of... Uh, Lower level, more towards my level. So today, as I'm noticing, 
a lot of those guys are higher level. I mean, they have more experience. I will not survive. And then having more equipment also doesn't help. Yeah, as you see, like at this time right now, I'm not going to say half the players, but like two, uh, at least one third of the players, they uh, they're not free accounts, or at least they bought some. Like everybody's a free account. Everybody's a free account, but my point on that it has more to do with uh, they bought stuff in game. What is something I usually try not to do when I do reviews because you know right now there's so much uncertainty in the in the world that you know you should try not to have to oh yeah now I got the good weapon now the thing about plasma um, you can hit really far precise shots but you can't just unload as much as you can you want Basically, it doesn't have ammo, which is great about this weapon, but you kind of, you're going to hit up your weapon, so. I mean, it doesn't take long for the weather, to, uh, the guns cool down, but. Man. Best weapon in the game, and I still die. And this guy's just another count like mine. <laughs> what the hell ever is this guy? I still have a long way to go. Yeah, as I'm noticing, a lot of those players are way higher level. Not that it has much to do with um, how strong you are. I don't think it has more to do with how much experience you have. Now let's take a look at a couple of other things before I go back to another game. And Lucky Royale. Oh, look at that. They just have to buy stuff to get spins. Yeah, that's not happening. Uh, let's take a look at the store. Alright, so Infinite Box. And that's pretty much 35, 350, let's see, 699 for, oh, look at that, is that free? Alright, so, yeah, no. So... Yeah, I don't get to get any of that stuff. Alright, now let's take a look at uh, how much it would be for me to actually... I'm sorry, this 399 um, diamonds. So... About four bucks. Yeah. So, for you to get anything for an even like clothing, I guess, you would have to pay something. Yeah, look, look at that. That's great. $299 for me to get all that good stuff. It's almost free. Now, my guess, it may be... Uh, no, no, that's in English, so that's in dollars. <sighs> that's just crazy, man. And I know it may be because people compete on that, so it's not really many players that are actually going to be buying that stuff, but that's kind of ridiculous. I just feel like a lot of those games, they, they end up becoming very niche because a lot of players, they can't afford to be buying that stuff, so... Um, a lot of times they'll play for a while and just give up because they'll get to a point where other players are way too strong. So it, it kind of destroys a little bit the game. Um, sure, if things are cheaper, you would have 
players that have a lot of money just, you know, buying a lot of that stuff. But at least for every other match, it would give a chance to other players to also, you know, get some of that stuff. But Oh, man. Yeah, I can see a lot of people rage quitting if they end up uh, playing too many matches and they realize they're getting murked too many times. In Brazil, it seems to be a really big game. Um, a lot of people I know play this game. I guess uh, that's what a friend of mine told me about the Donkey Show. It's like, this is horrible, it's really painful. But somehow can't look away. Alright. Alright, one more try, let's see. Alright, not too bad. Good start. All right, two for choosing. Alright, let me reload this thing. I'm being lucky. Let me keep that way. As long as I keep going like this, I'm okay. Alright, so I'll say this game is pretty exciting when, when you're not getting murked every single time. Now, usually in here, you're gonna have people. So, where am I right now? Four people alive, eight kills. And the one thing I learned the army is don't run in the middle of an empty field without cover. There he is. Oh yeah, booyah! All right. So, 
like I said, sometimes you do well, sometimes you don't. Um, nine kills, not bad, not great. But it's like I said, I I can't compare myself playing in a big screen compared to some people that may, you know, be playing <laughs> in a phone. Um, a lot of phones are not the fastest and people still play this game. It's not really a heavy game, I guess, but it, it makes a big difference. So yeah, you know what I think about this game. Um, it is a fun game. It's something I don't mind playing every now and then. Um, not really sure I would spend money on. It's a game that you have competitions, so if you're into that, some battle royale competitions, I mean, they have international competitions, so you can't go fully wrong with this type of games. Um, I'm just not really sure I would actually invest money. Maybe because it's a type of game I like to play every now and then, but not something that I would pretty much be spending like every moment of my briefing day. So, yeah, pretty good game. Download if you guys want, it's free. Check it out and have fun. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the game.